All right, guys, I'm so excited. I have an awesome story for you guys today. We're going to learn all about the story of Noah. Now, I'm sure you guys know Noah, the ark, the animals, the flood, all the things. But I want to try to teach you something really cool this week. So let's go. So we all kind of know the story of Noah. Noah lived in a time where a lot of the other people around him were really not nice. They were actually really bad. They were treating each other really, really bad, and they weren't being kind to each other, and they were getting in fights and all kinds of stuff. And they weren't doing anything that God was asking them to do. So who was the only person during that time who was actually being nice? So God went to Noah and he said, Noah, I want you to build an ark because I'm going to flood the world. Just like that. That's exactly how that went. So Noah said, okay, sure. So Noah started building the ark. Noah trusted God and he trusted that God was going to protect him through all of this. Now, God told Noah that he was going to save Noah and his family because Noah had been very righteous. And being righteous is just a fancy word for being nice and following the rules that are around you and doing the things that God asks you to do. That's what being righteous is all about. So Noah started building the ark. And it took him a really long time to build this ark. And this whole time, everybody thought he was kind of crazy. But Noah kept building the ark. He wanted to do what God asked him. And he knew that God's promise to keep him safe was the truth. And he trusted God. So he wanted God to trust him. And he kept his promise to build the ark for God. Once the ark was built, God instructed Noah to bring two of every animal, a male and a female, or a boy and a girl, onto the ark. All the animals were on this ark. So you can imagine how big this ark must have been. Now, a lot of people say that the ark was bigger than a three-story building. That's bigger than three of your houses stacked on top of each other. That's awesome, huh? And so I bet you that fit a whole bunch of animals. So all the animals go into the ark, and the rain starts coming down. So it gets all the animals and his family onto the ark. They close the doors, seal it up, and they're the only ones in there with all the animals. So they're on this boat for 40 days. And now it rains for 40 days and 40 nights without stopping. That's longer than a month of it raining day and night. And I'm not talking like sprinkly rain, like, oh, we can still go outside kind of rain. I'm talking like crazy amounts of rain, like lots and lots and lots and lots of rain. After 40 days and 40 nights of rain, the rain stopped. So Noah went up onto the top of the boat, he went out onto the deck, and he looked around and all he saw was water, like being in the middle of the ocean, but it was everywhere. So he didn't know what they needed to do next. So he sent out a bird to go and look. So now this bird came back with nothing, he didn't find anything. And then Noah decided he was going to send out a dove. So he sends out the dove and the dove comes back with an olive branch or a tree branch. And he comes back with this branch and you know what that means? He must have found land because that's where trees grow, right? Is in the ground. So he had to have found a tree, so that must mean that land was close by. So Noah waited a little bit longer and finally he found the dry land. Noah got really excited. He was praising God and telling God how awesome he is and how thankful he was that God kept his promise, just like Noah kept his promise to God to keep the animals and his family safe. But that's not where the story ends. This is my favorite part of the story. So. After Noah gets all the animals back on the land, he builds an altar to God and he prays to God. He praises God for keeping his promise. God tells Noah in Genesis chapter 9 verse 15, God says, I will remember the covenant or the promise between me and you, him and Noah, and to all the creatures of the world. Never again will the waters turn into a flood and destroy all life. And whenever a rainbow appears, I will see it. And I will remember, this is God remembering, and I will remember the promise or the covenant that I made with you and all the living creatures of the earth. Now that's pretty awesome. God's telling us that he put the rainbow, kind of like the rainbow on my shirt, he put a rainbow in the sky to remind us, but to remind him that he made a promise to us. God loves us and he's never going to do that ever again. Promises mean a lot. God even made promises and Noah made promises in the Bible. God promised us that because of the rainbow, he was never going to send another flood ever again. And that's our reminder for that promise. And that's pretty great. Alrighty, guys, that was a pretty fun story today. I love the story of Noah and his promise to God and God's promise to him and us. And that's why I think rainbows are really awesome. The next time you see a rainbow, I hope you'll remember God's promise, just like I do. So one more thing that I want us to talk about. I just heard... I've heard so many of y'all doing your memory verse, and I'm so excited. So we're going to say it here together, okay? I'm going to start it. I'm going to let you finish it, okay? He is not here. Good job, guys. That was awesome. Alrighty, guys. That's all I have for today. Thanks so much for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye.